You are your own hero. And I know that it might not feel that way right now because you might be wondering, how am I going to show up for my family, for work, for all of these different things in my life, let alone how am I going to show up for myself? But trust me when I tell you, there is a hero inside of you. And today I'm going to talk to you about how you can access it. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. It is time for you to be your own hero. And if you don't know how to make that happen, don't worry. Today I'm going to show you how. I've been inspired by a lot of conversations I've been having recently, as well as by the information in Todd Herman's book, The Alter Ego Effect. In it, he talks about creating an avatar or tapping into your heroic self. And I've used this strategy a lot with my clients. In fact, I use it myself when I need a little boost to help get me over any of the negative self-talk or get over anything that I feel is holding me back. I want you to have the same experience. It's been said that our heroic self or our powerful avatar is the truest version of who we are. And Todd Herman talks about that in his book as well. This true version of who we are can accomplish everything. They're powerful, they're strong, they're creative, they're concise in their thoughts, they're decisive about the action they want to take. And each of us has that person inside of us. Now, your hero will look different from mine, and all of us will have our own versions of what our own best heroic self looks like. It's just a matter of tapping into what yours is. Step number one, I want you to make a list of all of your core values. What is important to you? What at the end of the day is your primary focus with everything you're doing? Because we want to make sure that your heroic self is aligned with these core values. If your heroic self isn't, then things will come out of alignment. They will stop feeling as easeful, as joyful. You'll feel like you're out of your own flow. So getting really clear on your core values is step number one in this process. Step number two, I want you to take a look out there and see people who are embodying and living your core values every day. One of my core values is adventure. I love to travel. I love to experience and immerse myself in new cultures and learn as much as I can. One person that I saw embodying this on a regular basis was Anthony Bourdain. To me, he was the embodiment of adventure and immersing himself in new cultures. So who out there for you is embodying these core values that you have on your list? When you think about your core values, who's out there embodying it? I would be curious to know who you're looking at in the world in terms of your heroic self. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Step number three is to make the personal connection. So where in your life can you embody some of the qualities of these individuals that you are looking at in the world? How can you bring a little bit more adventure, for my example, into your life on an everyday basis? Step number four, assess where the gaps are. Are there things you need to learn? Are there skills you need to acquire? Is it just a matter of maybe putting on a different jacket so that you feel differently in your body? Ton Herman talks about his own personal experience with glasses. He discovered by observation that individuals who wear glasses are typically seen as being more intelligent. And he wanted to show up that way in his own life. So when he wants to embody his heroic self, he puts on a pair of glasses. Brilliant. Genius, right? So how in your everyday life can you begin to assume some of the qualities 
because they're already there, by the way. You already have them inside of you. It's just maybe we need a little reminder, a pair of glasses, a different jacket. I know that when I put on my yoga clothes, my heroic self emerges differently than when I'm doing something else. So start to tune into that for yourself. What are some things you can do to acquire those skills, assume and embody that heroic self that's already there. I encourage you to check out Todd Herman's book, The Alter Ego Effect. I will include a link for that in the description below. Make sure that you also check out my 50 self-care tips for everyday living. You can download that via the link below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. Be your own hero, stay ignited out there, and I will see you soon. Bye.